Who better to bring in on such a contentious issue than Adam Carolla, host of one of America's top podcasts. Adam, good to see you. We like to say on the show that uh, two things can be true at once. Why is it so hard to be pro-vaccine and believe it works, but also be against vaccine mandates? Well, I think it's a pretty easy thing to do. And I think folks on the left have been doing this for a long time on many different subjects. If you think about pornography, or prostitution or drug use, you know, they would go, well, I don't want my daughter to become a prostitute, but it should be legal or decriminalized, and I don't want my son to be a heroin addict, but it should be. So it's nuanced, but we can wrap our brains around, here's what we'd want, but here's the world we want to live in. And they go full ad hominem with you. So you go, look, I believe in vaccines. I'm vaccinated. I just don't like the government getting involved and forcing my kids to get vaccine, vaccinated before they go to school. And they go, oh, you're an anti-vaxxer. Well, again, there are many other social issues that they were able to take nuanced approaches to for many, many years yeah. leading up into this. And it's the same approach, I would argue. Almost it's as if right now you're getting some on the left who are saying the quiet part uh, out loud. Here is a CNN medical analyst talking about how they want to have vaccine mandates on airplanes where it's almost impossible to get COVID on a plane. We know that. But now she's saying essentially this is more about punishment than protection. Take a listen. We really need every tool at our disposal at this point. We've already tried incentives. We tried outreach and education, especially with holidays coming. It will be a powerful incentive for people mm -hmm. to say, look, you can stay unvaccinated if you want, but you're not going to be able to travel to see your family. I guess they're admitting now this is more, much more about arm twisting and punishment than public health. And also... Just listen to what that sounds like. I've been telling you what to do for a long time. I've told you this. I'm trying this. I decreed this. And you wouldn't do it, so now it's time to get tough. You think that's how this country works? You just make a decree, and if half the country doesn't listen to you, now it's time to punish those people? Do you want to live in that country? It's such a... They, 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 they take this sort of high ground, this sort of moral high ground, and a, because they said it, it's a decree, and we should all get in line. They don't realize that that kind of talk flies in the face of why this country was established. And it's interesting to listen to folks uh, talk about the, the unvaccinated, because if you listen to other cable networks, uh, some say the unvaccinated are heroes, others say the unvaccinated are tin hat wearing or red hat wearing conspiracy theorists. But it's a little more complicated than this. This is what Politico pointed out uh, in their graph. Unvaccinated already gotten, 12% definitely won't, 7% wait and see. It seems as though only 4% say to people that it will they will get the vaccine if required. Uh, that doesn't really seem to say that many of these uh, mandates that we're talking about is going to make much of a difference. Well, I think what they're creating, and I think what this crazy government overreach that's been going on for coming on to two years now is creating is a lot of people that are saying, I'm not going to be pushed around by the government anymore. You guys have made a million mandates. I'm in California. They closed down outdoor dining. And so here's the thing. Be very judicious when you're giving out mandates that don't make any sense. Because once you get to 10 things that don't make any sense, they arrested someone for paddle boarding in the Malibu Bay uh, a year ago. You do a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense, and then you want us to do it all. Well, that what that's going to create is a bunch of people going, you know what, I'm not listening anymore. Yeah, well, th that certainly has started. Uh, and a lot of people say, I'm not listening. I'm pushing back just because you're telling me what to do. I used to do that when my parents told me to uh, go to bed. Adam, thank you very much. Great conversation as always. Talk to you soon, my friend. Thanks, Leland. All right, cheers. Even some liberal...